Hey guys, welcome to the van. Um, I am in line at a drive-thru, and so I thought I'd record an intro for this video real quick. Um, we had some pretty good amount of sales. I figured out something at USPS that is brand new that I want to show you, and then we're going to go to Goodwill and find some good stuff. So let's get into it. This is what it looks like when I don't ship for a couple of days because of the holidays. End up with two Ikea bags to take into the post office. So this is new at the post office. Take your package and you can scan prepaid label. Uh, confirm package, doesn't include anything crazy. Continue, scan your own label. And then you don't have to wait in line that's fantastic. So I just self-service scanned 25 items at the post office. Walked up to the wrong car because I'm trying to make a vlog on my way out. Um, yeah, that was cool. Um, the, there was just a lady in the lobby and she's like, hey, if those are prepaid and you need a receipt, I can show you how to do it on this machine. It's brand new. And I'm like, that's awesome. Because there were like 15 people in line and I really didn't want to stand there. I thought deal was i was like this isn't going to be worth it i'm just gonna go drop them in the drop box and uh that's how i figured that out so i'm glad that i gave up <laughs> all right let's go to goodwill let's see if we can drive to goodwill with this camera here and do some what's old um I don't have the GoPro with me, but, and I don't have a mount for my cell phone, so it's kind of just sitting, resting on the door in a place where it's pinched, and I think it'll stay while uh, we drive to Goodwill. Um, so, establishing some what solds. Um, look at this kid. And now it's on for $5. Wow, is that cool or what? Yeah. We should keep this in. We should keep it because yeah. it's the first item you ever sold? Yeah. That's not how it works. Okay, congratulations on your first sale. What's your name? Caleb. How old are you? <laughs> Two, three, four, five. And three. There, that one. That's my son, Caleb. He was at the thrift store with me and he's like, I want to get this hat, dad. And I think we can sell it. And I was like, okay. Um, but it was a pancake and it wasn't anything good. And he's, I said, why do you want to get that? Trying to help him establish what makes something good versus not good. And he's like, cause there's a bunny on it. And I turned it around and there were pins on the back, like over the snapback. And it was, um, there were a handful of pins and he, they, they've all sold. This one was the one he was excited about. It's a bunny pin and it was an Energizer bunny pin. Um, and so we paid a dollar for the Energizer bunny pin and it sold for $3.99 plus shipping. We, play, we paid a dollar for the hat that had like five pins on it and the uh, Energizer bunny one sold for $3.99 plus shipping. So that's the story there. Um, I did a Pac-Man hat that I bought for five bucks a long time ago and I had it listed for six eight months for $19.99 and then somebody sent me a $17.99 offer and I'm like that's reasonable and that was that was $17.99 free shipping but for a hat I got five bucks in and it cost me four bucks to ship um, I'm happy with that these double H boots I bought for two dollars at a thrift store or two dollars at an estate sale and then got them home and noticed they had a little bit of damage on them. And so they weren't worth a lot. Uh, so I sold them, I had them listed for whatever gets you to 1844 on a 15% off listing. Cause they sold for 1844 plus shipping. And uh, that worked out real well. Um, because, and I only got two bucks in them. So even damaged, um, 
I used to buy stuff and I'd get it home and find out it's damaged and then donate it back because I didn't want to sell damaged goods. But damaged goods sells. Damaged stuff, I mean, it sells for less, but you can sell stuff that's damaged. Um, and so I'm curious how this is going to come out. I think it's probably going to be kind of a neat segment. Uh, white socks hat. These white socks hats, if they're kind of wool, this one wasn't even totally wool. I think it was 30% wool um, snapback. And it sold for $24.99, and it wasn't even in really good shape. If you find an all wool, like um, Logo 7, the wool hats, uh, socks, the, the key word you wouldn't necessarily know if you're looking to sell a white socks snapback is like NWA or Ice Cube. Um, and I've said that before on the channel, but then I had like. 20 subscribers so probably most of you didn't, weren't watching the channel at this point at that point last time i sold one of these it sold for 24 not or yeah it sold for 24.99 free shipping um i held on to it for a while uh knowing that eventually it would sell for a good amount of money to probably to somebody who wants it for streetwear uh rap culture you know it, nwa being iconic rap music and uh people and still influencing style all this time later um uh, that hat is desirable if you put ice cube or nwa in your title uh pyrex i got this listed yesterday it sold almost immediately you guys that have been with the channel a little while know this summer i hit an estate sale where there was a pile of these uh, um um insides guts for this uh percolator and now my friend Travis found this percolator and he's like I don't want to ship glass so you can buy this one from me and so I did and um, I paid him seven dollars for it and that's what he paid for it uh, and then what I did was I wrapped the inside in bubble wrap all together and then the lid will lock on if you make it and so then I squished the bubble wrap down with the lid and then I wrapped it in bubble wrap and I put it in a box. And then I wrapped that box in bubble wrap and put it in a number seven box from the post office and I shipped it that way. And it cost me like 17 bucks to ship, but I'm $7 into it and I've got, I got $55 for it. So $16 shipping, it's worth it. Uh, it's expensive to ship, but it's worth making that profit. Um, but if you find just the guts, if you find just the coffee pot, it ain't worth much. But if you find just the guts, it is. We're closing on Goodwill here pretty quick. Uh, this Champion sweatshirt sold for $24.99 free shipping. Nothing super fancy about it. It is old. I want to say it was made in... Uh, I want to say it was made in USA, but it might have been made in Mexico. Um... This TMNT part, you guys have heard me say this a hundred times, you find parts to action figures and you make money on them uh, selling the accessories out of the bottom of the bag when you figure out what accessories are what. So that's uh, what I did there. Uh, so this is part to a Donatello that is a sewer swimmer or something. Um, sold for $5 and 52 cents and I'm parking at Goodwill this remote sold for uh, $7.64 nothing special about it I paid 50 cents for it um, and I have a bunch of remotes listed probably 25 or 30 remotes listed at ten, around $10 this one sold during a 15% sale and then this Catskills shirt I bought for $1 uh, quite a while ago, and I just thought it was really neat. The squirrel's funny. It's double-sided. It's single-stitch. It's on a really nice screen stars tag. Sold for $14 plus shipping. All right, let's go into Goodwill. I got in there, and everybody's looking at me funny. I was like, oh, crap. I forgot my mask because I'm talking to you guys. You distracted me, jerks. So that's me, and it really shouldn't. I just don't like that I can see, like, that box of media there. I would buy probably all of that, but I can't because it's not filed yet. When I'm looking at these kind of 
sections. I'm like, those two appear to be a series. So I pull them out and see what I can find out about them. Section, but at two bucks a piece, I just don't think there's much money to be made. Oh, they're only a dollar a piece here. That's cool. That's better than they are on the other side of the river. out on the floor and it looks like nobody's around it so it's probably been sitting there a while and been picked already but we'll look that shin guard this is interesting $1.99 This piece is vintage, and so I went ahead and picked it up. I'm going to say later that you guys see me pick up a piece of Patagonia, but you don't see it because I missed recording that. But I go through every single piece of clothes in the men's department, and look at this thing. This is a really cool eagle and dragons pattern Harley Davidson shirt from 2000 and it is on the rack at two dollars and 22 cents which is super rare for holy goodwill. cow guys that was a good trip to goodwill um i didn't take video in every place everything that i got but um i'll show you guys what i did get um my first ever piece of patagonia i have never found patagonia in a thrift store or bought it um on accident <laughs> like or bought it brand new given to me as a gift i've never had patagonia anything i don't know that this jacket is like the most exciting thing in the world as far as patagonia goes but it's nice um two harley davidson t-shirts for 222 a piece one of them is like 2005 the other one is 2000 and it is pretty nice um I don't remember. All, I spent $60, and I don't think I bought anything that was worth more than, like, $4.99. So, lots of stuff. Um, now i got to go get lunch at McDonald's, which is going to cost as much as Goodwill because I have five kids. And it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and so I'm going to be in this line forever. So, this is the stuff that I ended up getting. This is a Patagonia men's uh, zip-up. This is a women's champion hoodie. So this Mark Echo is a 5X, or it might not be worth picking up. This is a Vintage USA Brooks Brothers pocket tee. This is from Brussels, Belgium, and it has this on the front. This is probably the best piece I picked up all day. And then this is a Canadian pocket tee, Harley Davidson from 2005. And then we get into a couple of vintage Western shirts, and they're not super valuable, but they're pretty cool. This is a women's small Doctor Who shirt. It was $2.22. This is a sweatshirt that has a hoodie pocket. I really like that. These we already showed you, and they're pretty cool. They're measuring cups. This is just a marmot medium sweater. Pretty nice piece. We already talked about this thing. All the movies were $0.99, cents and all the books were 50 cents so i'll just overlay these comp prices on here so you see what i can expect to make the big deal was this ash versus the evil dead on blu-ray is 25 dollars. i was quite surprised by that all right guys well i think that's going to do it for today's video i'm still in this drive through line it ain't going anywhere um so my kids are getting hungry um Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.